hell. <coughs> so that was the worst summon possible. She just kind of chilled out in the corner and let me do all the heavy lifting. She really did. I was so happy when I got this the first time. Because I, I, I bought the game uh, when I got my... Uh, Xbox 360. And I tried it for a few weeks and I just got the crap kicked out of me. I'm like, you know what? I gotta put this down. And uh, so I did. And I came back like six months later and tried again and finally beat the gargoyles. Finally went down to uh, Quailog. And then uh, took me about a month, I think, of uh, playing in the evenings to uh, finally beat her, but man, I, I felt like I'd really accomplished something. I, I, I remember just thinking, man, now I can finally see what's in that fortress. Turns out the answer was snakes and traps. think for a moment I'm gonna leave this 20,000 souls just sitting here <laughs> What's up, big guy? God, this thing would be absolutely terrifying in real life. I might have just screwed myself over. Okay, it looks like there's more leeway than I thought. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! I can't believe I almost balls that up. Okay, let's chug and get back to running. Just running like Forrest Gump over here. Except I've got an axe. There we go. Murdered ceaseless discharge. With an axe! God, I've got this book coming in the mail, uh, literally just called With an Axe, and it is yet another true crime book, but it is literally all about axe murders, and what more do you need in life? It's like, that is definitely something I don't want to try talking about while I'm on lunch at work. <laughs> It's like, so, what are you reading? Well, let me tell you all about axe murders. <laughs> I'm actually just, uh, 
just a few hours bus ride uh, from a very famous it was like a whole family butchered with an axe uh, back in the god 1910s 1920s they've turned the the house into a museum and I totally want to check it out sometime. I guess you can rent it out, which is kind of hilarious. A little disgusting, maybe. Um, but you know, if that's your kind of thing. <laughs> uh, could be, could be the case. I'm just kind of fascinated by true crime, especially, especially serial killers and and uh, unsolved murders and so forth. Um, and now that true crime is kind of in again, I'm not, I'm not that weirdo who knows a little too much about John Wayne Gacy. I'm just one of the weirdos now, so it kind of evens out a little bit. I was talking to some friends, and we, we were considering actually renting that place where <laughs> the whole family was slaughtered. And I'm like, well, obviously we have to do all of the bad ideas when we get there. You know, because if there's any chance the place could be haunting, if there's any chance the place could be haunted, obviously you have to bring a Ouija board. <laughs> I mean, since I, don't, since I don't think any of us seriously believe in hauntings, that makes it even more amusing, but... It just seems like it's one of those things you gotta do if you're gonna hang out in a place like that. Oh, whoa, I gotta switch back to my uh, spider shield, spider shield. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous. And I stood there and took it like a punk. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get a few of these guys taken out. Shice. Okay, well... I should have chugged, and I didn't. And that's what happens. Okay, um, I was not prepared for that. I did not have the blossoming purple clumps, and yeah. And the throwing knives, because apparently the mosquitoes are up there too. Is there a shiny thing over here? There is a shiny thing. Oops. Son of a gun. I have done a dumb thing. That's better. Oh, excuse me. Um, first death today. I did have a couple uh, when I played last week. So at the very least, it's a first death in a while.
You know what I love about this thing? It's powered by a dog. <laughs> There's something I find hilarious about that. I think I have binoculars on me, so I might be able to show it off, but... That lift runs on dog. Okay, well, I got my, uh, got my souls back. It's always nice to at least get a successful corpse run in there. Okay, that guy over there is going to be a problem. Throw these dogs. That was a disaster. <laughs> okay, now let's take a run for... Okay. Now, what about this guy? And finally, dogs. Oh, that's a Nesta's flask. Yeah. Jeez, dogs. I'm apparently outmatched by dogs. Demon spider ladies? No problem. Capra demon? Cake. Dogs? I don't know, man. Okay, that's enough of my grossly incompetent dog fighting. And now it's time to go back to the surface. Yeah, small dogs, yeah, that's... I mean, those things were barely bigger than a Chihuahua. Well, you know, it's always the small dogs that uh, are the most ridiculously aggressive and unpleasant. Alright, now... Yep, there's the ladder. Now it's time for a nice trip back to Firelink Shrine. And then, I might as well make my way to the fortress. Or the fun house, depending on what you want to call it today. I already got that earlier with the master key. Oh. 
All right. More feces. Dark Souls really does have everything. Ah, he brought friends. Or at least friend. Heck with it. Excuse me. Level up that little flask a bit. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy, it snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. <laughs> Damn, that stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. Well, I mean, he will just devour him. And I get a fair bit of souls for him. Oh, and he's back. Uh, oh, you again? Me? Uh. I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? <laughs> my lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. By the lords! You damn fool! Enough of you! Feel the Oops. wrath of the gods! Get your act right here, bitch. You know what you did. No. This can't be. It can't end like this. He knows what he did. I also was just trying to kick him. But, you know, things happen. <laughs> the real Dark Souls is trying to kick. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the Bell of Awakening? I am the Primordial Serpent. King Seeker Frampt, close friend Frampt of comes the alive? great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Sure. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn. So that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. I am pleased. Is it? All right. So. And then. Yeah, I don't want to give those up. Let's see here. Some copper coin. He's awfully enthusiastic. Feed him some poop. I 
Okay, now I've got green shards. So that's some good news. Farewell. Okay, well, let's head over to the Gates of Sen's Fun House. Make my mace divine because that's long overdue. I mean, I made one trek into the uh, into the catacombs, but I did not go very far. I pretty much just went in for Pinwheel because he's a chump. Make sure that this is powered up for when I get into the f the, uh, the fun house. All right. So let's see. Oof. I really want to get this battle axe up, but uh, let's see that happening soon. Don't get yourself, knight. So I should have some souls here. Yep. Okay. Well, oh wow, my levels price for leveling has gone way up. Let's go back to the uh, black leather gear.
Oh, that wasn't enough. I swear, the uh, when backstabbing isn't enough to kill something, I always feel like I've done something wrong. It's like, come on, I can do better than that. There we go. Let's get Mr. Snake to come down the bridge. There, there he goes. He can go down and play in the muck for a bit. You know what? I forgot the eagle shield. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. That'll have to be a little side adventure. Oh, that didn't kill him? Come on. Okay. Let's get some shards. There we go. That'll be good for my axe. Oh, that's right. He can take a few balls before he dies. Okay, one more. <laughs> Come on, Snake Man. Situational awareness. Alright, so I'm gonna head back. Um... Because it is about time for me to make some dinner and call it a night. Hey, there's that snake guy lured into the pit. <laughs> That's all it took, huh? Just needed that one throwing dagger to finish him off. Oops. Hot Cheetos. <laughs> Sure thing, buddy. Okay, so yeah, we got some pyro. Whatever. <laughs> what a way to wrap it up. <laughs>